Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands Team. My name is Mikey Dubs, and today we're gonna try to get some redemption with this psycho. My last Krieg run where I thought I was really popping off with fire weapons, I died to Terramorphus because I wasn't paying attention to my health bar, so I'm gonna try to get some redemption here. This is the regular Roguelands mod, this is not Roguelands MIDI. I also want to take this opportunity to talk a little bit about the Borderlands franchise in general. I know there's been a lot of drama in the community. I'm sure people that are watching this video probably know more about it than I do. I mean, we're taking we're taking fire damage. Um, and it, it's tough because I've played all the Borderlands games besides New Tales and and Old Tales. I'm honestly, I just Telltale games don't necessarily speak to me. Um, but I like all the games, so it's been <laughs> it's been tough. Oh, this might be a little bit better for round one. I'm not too sure. Oh, I can grab a shield. We almost went out without a shield. Where's the shield at? Oh, booster shield. Okay, I got you. Um, I think we're okay. Let's get out there. Nice. Worm water. I think we'll get some, some fleshy enemies here. Yeah, nice. And I, I kind of going to give you guys my thoughts about it, just so you guys know where I stand. <laughs> it's, just almost, it's almost one of those things where you can't know where people stand on it, but... Um, I personally think that Borderlands 3 was the best. And... And it's simp and it's for a couple reasons, but number one, I think Moe's is the coolest Vault Hunter that they've ever put out. In, in fact, I've tried other characters in in Borderlands Three. I really have, and Moe's just she's everything that I need in a Borderlands game, you know. So that's, that has her. Unfortunately, the story. <laughs> I, I agree that the story was frustrating, which is probably the main complaint that people have about the game. So I agree that the story was pretty frustrating. Um, and something that made that makes sense to me, or like, it's it's it happens in the cutscenes where in the cutscenes it's like you're not there. Like for instance, like you just when Maya dies, I'm not sure if you're you're actually like there when it happens, but I feel like. There's so many things that you could have done if you were there. And in Borderlands 2, they they, they respect your presence a little bit more in the cutscenes. Like, for instance, when Jack... When Jack kills Roland, right? It's a sneak attack, right? Because you're a Vault Hunter, you're sitting there. It's a sneak attack. He shoots him. Lilith immediately jumps him, right? But then he <laughs> puts that collar on her. But, but the whole point is, it all happens so fast. Whereas the cutscenes in in Borderlands 3, they're very long. They're drawn out. There's n not a lot going on around. Like, if the... I think what they could have done, personally, and I haven't heard anyone else say this, but I think what they could have done to improve the villains of Troy and Tyrene, which were pretty weak villains. I think they were strong early-ish. Um... But they didn't change, right? They kind of stayed the same. Oh, oh, we could do override cooldown. I've been wanting to do a Dragon Breath focus build where, where we run Hellfire Halitosis, but I feel like forcing it would be kind of bad. Um, what they could have done is in the cutscenes, show us how much of a following the Calypsos have with the bandits. I feel like we never got to see like a, a scene, like a giant scene where like an area like this is just completely full of bandits, you know, like mosh pitting and flying around and, and, and blowing stuff up and then like, and then Troy and Tyreen show up, <coughs> excuse me, and then they all start losing their minds even more. Like, by the way, do we have a better relic than that right now? I don't think so. Uh. And everyone goes even more insane. And I, I want something like to see that. I want to see their power more than just in their words. I think something that made Handsome Jack really cool, in my opinion, was that he could talk the talk. And Troy and Tyreen can talk the talk. But he also walked the walk in front of us. Like, he took out Roland and then um, su subdued Lilith instantly kidnapped her completely outplayed her uh by the way i don't like taking points in 
uh, burn baby burn because I don't one I don't know what enemies I'm facing. It could be a completely useless skill, and I don't want to keep respecking. Two, if I light myself on fire without numb nerves, a very high chance I die. So for that reason, I could go blood filled guns. It's it's simple. I'm gonna be stacking up uh, bloodlust pretty pretty simply, and I'm also gonna take this of uh, Vladov sniper. We can go next. But I think showing showing us instead of telling us about the power of Troy and Tyrene, like right here, I'm immediately enter an area where we're not really gonna be using fire that much. Do I have corrosive anything? No, but maybe the chest will. Um, maybe not. Yeah, that's good. All I have to do is left, right, center, and I can get through the zone. Oh my gosh! Come on, brother. Because I feel like trying Tyreen, they really were like, they were. I think a lot of people can agree that they were annoying more than anything else, and that's because I feel like there was a lot of tell and not a lot of show like we saw like i don't know you can say well they killed maya like, is that not enough for you it didn't feel right to me it's, it, might be, it might be weird to say it it's just didn't feel right that entire sequence didn't feel right to me i need a heal there we go full health this is risky play uh what's it called well it's actually rampage in the early game it doesn't do as much damage but it gives you those full heals. Gone. I don't want to get hit by an EXP loader, so I gotta be careful. Let's crouch right here. Left, right, center. Oh, grenade. Left, right, center, center. Don't zap me, bro. I also have to, I have to change my key binds. I was playing gauge. I would have liked to see. Like, the bandits just losing their minds. Because they're supposed to be gods, right? Um, I think it would have been nice to see, like, more of that. Just to show us the power. And less yap. I'm, I, don't, I know everyone else said this. something that everyone else has talked about. It's not new. But, oh, imagine if I got incendiary resistance right there. Um... Imagine if we just, if that's what we saw from them, instead of them just talking about how many followers they have. It's like, uh, what makes them strong? We Again, we take pistol damage because if we get a, a nice pistol for a build, we're going to want to have it. Man, a lot of slag coming in. All right, for our next five points, you could do anything. You could take Buzz Axe Rampage. I think that might be actually good. Depend on Buzz Axe Rampage a little bit early on. Assault rifle damage in Fight for Your Life is increased for each stack of bloodlust. I think <laughs> the skill is so weird. It's so weird. Um, but if we if we go blood twitch, we can do more successful slag and swaps. So we did get a new slag weapon. So let's let's pop it in slot one. Slot one me put slag, and then I can. Do what it is. Whatever I need to do after that. Let's go ahead and grab this pressure plate over here. By the way, thank you all for enjoying the uh, the content. It's been a blast to make. We're actually going to get rid of the splasher blaster for now. No, we're going to get rid of this. There we go. So we're going to slag and bag and we can swap these based on what we're doing. So. Slot one is our slag, and then we scroll down to either corrosive or fire, depending on what type of zone we're in. I really want to use that. Vlad of assault rifle damage increased while in fight for your life could go crazy with like a Vlad of assault rifle. All right, open up. No legendary, but an, inc an improved torch class mod. Like that. We go next. Um, other things that could have changed, I think there was a deleted scene with Ava, uh, where she talked to, she talked to Lilith about Maya's death and like took took less of a harsh take. By the way, we can just we don't need to swap weapons at all. Like let's just burn these skags to the ground, brother. Burn them all. Rabbit skag. Okay, okay, okay. Please stop hitting me. Thank you. 
Dang it, I can't even get my weapon up and running. Oh yes, let's go. The rabbit skags are so insanely annoying. Oh yeah. Plus some grenades in my feet so that they have to fight me in it. Oh wait, they're flying around. Once the Teslas land, I'm gonna go inside the Teslas. There we go. Huge. Woo! And I think having a little bit of more character development in Ava would be nice. Burn. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I know Borderlands. Someone in the comment section said that I was, when I was talking about a change that I wanted to make to the, to the game was adding the special effects to the cards. Someone said, I'm just salty that I'm bad, <laughs> which is hilarious. <clears throat> How true is it? I'm not too sure, to be honest with you. I'm not that great at the game, but... It's not that easy to run through these Rogue Lands maps, to be honest with you. You have a lot. You have to have a lot of knowledge about the game, and there's a lot of things to know, and I don't know enough. On top of that, like, we're in Borderlands Endgame, where enemies, like, one-shot you, especially raid bosses, so you need a lot of healing. Which is a change in Borderlands 3 that I really liked. You, I didn't need as much healing in Borderlands 3, I felt like. Um, I think it might be time for the... We might go for the pivot now, but I might wait one more round. Let's take... Let's take a Sart Rifle damage while in fight for your life. And take a couple of Sart Rifles. I already got this flat off one, and I like it. Alright, more flesh. That's good. We can also shoot some Psycho Masks. One. Can we get them all from here? No, we can't. Let's toss a couple grenades to soften these guys up. Mask number two. I will shoot you. There we go. Oh, come on. Soften these guys up down here. We can do it. We can do it. I'm not going to die here. Land, brother. Land and explode. Land and explode. I'm, I'm in danger. Because if I kill this guy, if he dies, and I take one more shot, I'm dead. Let's keep this guy alive just for a second. Here's what I do. Wait for my shield to recharge. Activate Buzz Axe Rampage. Get a full heal. On this guy's at 1 HP. There we go. Now climb the ladder. I got played aggressive. Got burned. But I recover. I'm like, I'm not that bad at Borderlands, okay? I know that people are probably better, but are people that are better making Rogue Lands videos? Oof. That's weird. All right, third, third mask. I, I want to look at this stuff, but oh, I need to toss these to soften these guys up for sure. Run, use the slag barrel. I know that ultimate badass is fine. All right, slag barrel. Want to get the burn damage scale? I'm dead. <laughs> I got backed into a corner right at the wrong time. But a sort full damage while in fight for your life is is improved. That's what, I mean, that's why we took it. Can't blame me for creating wind condition, by the way. Let's let's change our reload button now. Okay. Right. Our enemy is still alive here. Let's toss him two Teslas. And let's slag him. Now that he's slagged, I switched to my assault rifle. Shield booster me. Shield booster me. Let's keep picking up the shield boosters. Very nice. A little Eevee, which gives me cooldown reduction. Uh, which is tough, because I don't really want cooldown reduction right now. I've been on a different character. It's a, a different character would be better for that. A turtle shield is nice. Um... This is orb shields is kind of like the one we have even better. Let's see. I'm not gonna take a crunch, sorry. Only shock transfusion. What was it? It all depends on the fuse time, honestly. Fast acting shield? We want a fast acting shield? Probably not. 
All right, what do we got in here? We'll take that. Mats, that is an enormous shield. Uh, you know what? Let's just take it for now. We got some points to put in. Um, um, is, is it time to switch to fire? I think it could be. Let's do it. It's a F3 now. Let's light ourselves on fire. Kill skill also lights stuff on fire. Any kind of element will light us on fire. I think it's worth to put one point in flame flare and one point in helio uh health health halitosis. Now which one of these do we want now? I can choose between gun damage, except for with snipers. And that's gonna give me let's see. Let's 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 do the math. Increase gun damage for all gun types, except sniper rifles. Decreases crit. So we're going to get 10% 10, 10 gun damage and 20% while we're on fire. Or we can get 14 to 28% reload speed and 10 to 20% accuracy. Or I can get fire rate. Or I can get more burn duration and reignite chance. Let's get some more burn duration and reignite chance. The only thing to make it through one more round. We got this. Come on. We're in the fridge. I've got I took a turtle shield because they're massive. Okay. Go down, brother. I mean, throw some Teslas out there. I would like to go hide somewhere. Oh, I can't. I changed my mind about the shield. Yeah, I'm gonna die. No way I survive. No way. I just gotta get close enough. Okay, please go down. Toss some, toss some of those little bad Larrys out there. Gotta slag them. Not bad. Keep going. Please stop hitting me, bro. Let's, let's just go on the Buzzax Rampage and hope it's enough. Come on now. Get me there. Get me there. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. All right, what's he drop me? Anything good? I think I'm going to drop the turtle shield the first chance I get, to be honest with you. All right, please give me something good. The man adds explosive damage to all melee attacks. Isn't that insane? The Heartbreaker. Oh. Okay. Let's go Heartbreaker. Yes. So it's a shotgun. It's a shotgun that also heals us and it is fire damage. So. You know what I'm saying? And five points, again, all points matter here, but elemental elation. Elemental elation. I'm sorry, elemental empathy healing me. But now that we can heal up a bunch, I think it's going to be a little bit easier to clear some rounds. Looking for a better shield. What do you guys think about Borderlands 2 versus Borderlands 3? I think Borderlands 2, the story is really, really good, and the gunplay is super, super good. Don't get it twisted for me personally. If there was a Rogue Lance mod for Borderlands 3, I would totally be playing that. Like, I would be running most of this like it was nobody's business. You know what I'm saying? Yes. It's always Slayer of Terramorphus, though. It's crazy. So, so I'm not really too sure what I would... Like, ah. Wonderlands. I could, we can bring up Wonderlands. That could be something we could talk about. Uh, Wonderlands, I think, is phenomenal. Like, I I thought the story was good. Like, I, I get that it's already it's reach it's retreaded ground. Oh, how about bonus package? I get that it's ground that they've already covered. Like, Tina is sad. Like, we already talked about it. However, it's it's not a story that everybody knows if they never got played uh, that DLC. Even though most people that I don't know. I'm probably a good chunk of people that bought Wonderlands had played Tiny Tino's DLC. 
but I thought the story was super fun. Multi-classing was fantastic. And the Berserker was, I mean, I, I need to identify with at least one character in the game. And the Berserker was a character that I definitely identified with. I need some base health regen, I think. I do not want to die in situations like this where I'm just keep reigniting myself and I just die. Yeah, that was that was not good. That was dangerous. Mm. Oh, it's probably going to be a respec angle and just drop all flame flare points. And that way I can take everything else and not risk it. Let's do it. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip flame flare. I need to sh do hellfire hal halitosis more because I think, think it's fun. Elemental elation. Elemental empathy. Raving retribution. Let's actually take. Oh no, that's a complete misclick. Oh, that's. That's okay. I have got money. Let's take one point in blood filled guns. Numb nerves is, is must. Elemental elation. Four, five. All right, we got one point. One point to put in. Let's do. Let's do this one. Get some extra gun damage. Let me go next. We got this. Southern Shelf, more flesh. I don't have to worry about swapping it, uh, weapons. Saw some, I saw some Teslas out there. The, the fact that that... The fact that I almost killed myself because I kept reigniting myself is, is scary to me. I don't... I feel like we're going to be able to corrode or to uh, um, burn ourselves enough. Alright, toss some Teslas. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. See ya. Keep the heartbreaker up and running. Again, the heartbreaker is so good because it heals us and does massive fire dot damage, so. Let's go. Let's go. And it stacks and it just stacks so fast, like everything we needed to do. It's automatic, so we make use of fire rate. Like, come on. Five more points. I think we go. I think we go. Man attacks have a chance to ignite enemies. We don't. But we don't care about that. But we want the reload speed. Let's go gun damage and let's take. Let's take reload speed and accuracy next. Homing fire B. Do we just? It's the fire B. When I throw it, I'm gonna throw it. Just blow up somewhere, brother. Is it gonna blow up? Okay, so it's that one. That can damage me. I gotta be careful. But it's just gonna, it's gonna do so much damage, I feel like, with our burn damage stuff. But the Tesla's so good because I can run through it. Let's just try. Come on, towering skeleton. What you got? You resist fire? Do I see resist? Yeah, I see resist. That's tough. We're okay. This guy tanky, man. Yeah, can I not even ignite them? Oh, why am I? I am full stuck. Okay, no, not. He goes down, finally. There's no sword to pull out. We're good. They all resist fire? I think they all do. I think it might be time to swap up something else. Not good. Not good at all. Okay, I'm one hit from death. How about a trance? How about a homing Tesla? What do I have? Maybe a renegade? Okay. I need to toss those out. No! Not good at all. In fact, really, really bad. Need to kill that gladiator. Ow! What the heck? Stop resisting! Nice, okay. This is doing a lot of damage. Burn him. Burn him, burn him, burn him. 
I think that's really cool. Oh, wait, does melee? Melee has to be their weakness. There's no way they're taking that much from melee. There's no way. Yeah. That's the... Okay. If I had known that before, <laughs> it wouldn't have been such a big problem. It does make sense, though, because it's like a fantasy RPG style. Which brings me back to my point about Wonderlands. I think I've talked about this before, but I'm not sure if I'd ever made a final cut. Sticky homing corrosive transfusion. I need more things that do more dots, so the test load is going to be better. I like the homing as well. More points. Let's take some points into Fire Fiend. And Embrace the Pain is a nice skill as well. I'm going to go for Bloodfield Guns instead. Go next. Do I need Bloodfield Guns and Reload Speed? Good question. I played Berserker in Wonderlands and I was upset that certain bosses I couldn't melee easily. There are ways to do it, but like you need to like different, you need certain legendaries to make it work. Like you throw a marshmallow on the ground and you use something like the Banshee, uh, so that, oh my gosh, I'm more shining. You use something like the Banshee, which sends projectiles, um, like little static charge from the original one and chains to enemies and you could chain Bernadette to kill or you could use that to chain Bernadette from afar. Or there was ranged melee weapons, but it was a super slow projectile, so you couldn't hit a, a flying enemy with it. A Hornet is a really, really good weapon for us. And it's a twin Hornet. This is very similar to my last run with Krieg, to be honest with you, and I'm, actually, I'm quite happy with that. So now we, we have a Hornet in case we need it. Very oh, good. Nice. What's that? Corrosive damage? We're going to want it. Oh, I'm full. I'll drop some stuff. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, you ready? Boom. Ah, that one was kind of dull. It's got a lot of gear, though. Corrosive damage is going to be nice. Shoot the second brain, because we're still looking for a better shield. We have a turtle shield on still. But the turtle shields are nice. You can say, well, that doesn't synergize with Krieg. Why would you, why would you use a turtle shield on Krieg? It does synergize because shields resist fire damage. Just saying. Oh, a launcher. I've been, I also realized I need a better launcher. Oh! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Alright. It's a bada boom for when I go bada down. This weapon can go. All right, Heartbreaker. Toss this down. I know I'm going to need him. Once the shields go. No, bro. In here. Does he always roll away from grenades? No, he doesn't. All right, now you're going down, bro. You're going down, brother. Nothing you can do about it. A blue light octo. Uh, I'm not sure if that's good or not. I think I saw adaptive. Nope, that's a turtle. Amp could be good, which drains her own shields down, but it'll, it'll never get back up. Deal shock spike damage to melee attackers. That could be good. I'm done with the turtle shield. Oh, that's adaptive, right? No, it's turtle. I need, I'm getting adaptive and turtle mixed up. Mm, I think we're fine. Blue light octo will take it, but I'm not probably gonna, not going to use it. It'll be nice to have. Neither of these, I'll uh, call my name. All right, as far as points, this tree is all maxed out. Blood-filled guns. Let's take. And then start increasing my max health to get to embrace the pain. Helios fallen, we can take them down. Oh, it's this lad. All right, here's what we're going to do. I think he has... I'm going to look this up real quick just to make sure. I think Uranus is weak to corrosive damage. Okay, reading out in line, it, I just found that it has the same elemental vulnerabilities as Saturn. And I looked up Saturn, and I think it's corrosion. I couldn't find it exactly, but I think it's corrosion. So let's put on a corrosion relic. 
And let's just try to go to town with the Hornet, shall we? Run. Oh my gosh. That this attack is insane, brother. Oh my gosh, bro. Well, I gotta shoot the, the blinking lights, by the way. Ah, toss some grenades out. This guy. When he starts shoot when he shoots at you, he doesn't mess around. We're doing a lot of damage to him though. I could one phase this guy. Okay, reload, reload, reload. I didn't have to reload. That was a waste. I had 96 bullets left in my magazine. Yes, let's go. I'm on fire. Ooh. Yes. Legendary Psycho class mod. Burn damage max side. I think this might be better than what I'm running now. Ooh, very nice. Another heartbreaker? Two heartbreakers and one run? More damage. Less everything else. But do I care about everything else? Nope. I do not. Let's take a look at this bad boy. I think that's nice. I like that. At five points. One, two, three, four, five. That's nice. I like that right there. And this, I think this class mod is going to be a little bit better for us because it's giving us skills that we're actually using. Which is good. Uh, do we want a skyrocket? Hmm. I'm really enjoying my Teslas is the problem. So I can run through the Teslas again. Running through the Teslas is huge. Either way, I think we're good. Saturn, he's he's vulnerable to crits is what I saw because of his bright lights on his chest. Okay. What do we need to do? What's the most important thing for us? I think we might want to take some more grenades. I'll do two pull at the boxes. Uh, two, two pulls at the box. SMG. Pistol. 15 left. Launcher. All right, two pulls at the box. What do we get? An infinity and a nirvana. Huge, huge, huge pull on the nirvana. Uh, an infinity could be good as well. Thanks for this. Thanks, but no thanks for this black gun. What is that? The world burn. I'm going to look this thing up because I'm pretty sure I might have killed myself with it before. Okay, so it's it's really good about blowing stuff up, and that's what I like. Um, oh, a little framing, a little framing, but we're okay. And let's design our character. See you guys in a second. All right, this is my summer love, summer love Krieg wearing his blue jeans, looking all nice with it. All right, let's jump into this raid boss round. Let's see what we can do. Please give me someone I can hit. Okay, Pirate Pete, we're going to need shock. This is why we brought... This is why we brought weapons. Okay, what do we have? We have a little Eevee. We're going to drop the Nirvana. We can run the Octo. See if that does anything for us. And we can slag him for a while. We can maybe try it. And let's see. Let's give it a try. We can do this. Chances of us surviving, pretty low. Well, oh, that's pretty cool. Not gonna lie to you, that's a pretty cool effect. But the fact we're not getting through this shield up yet is wor worrisome to me. Jump back. Getting some good fire rate, though. Alright, toss some nades down. This could be a long fight. Come on. Keep it up. Oh, should we just... Should we try slagging? Where did my slag weapon go? Hmm. I think I just got borderlanced. Uh, what should we do? Slag. There we go. Is how much damage is that doing? Probably not that much. 
Question. Does Power Pete's... Um, does his... What's it called? Does his dot effect get stronger as, the, as it's going on? I'm gonna run out of ammo. I, I don't think I can... Can I even kill this boss? Oh, I back myself into a corner. Slag him. This is gonna be one of the harder bosses. He literally resists fire, so... We're gonna have... This could be resourceful. Use the tools at our disposal. Make sure he's slagged. Can we out heal the dot? Doesn't look like we can. I got. I'm gonna go cleanse it. Plus one of those down. I got. I got to spawn some enemies real quick. Cleanse my debuff. Thank you. I'm gonna heal up all the way. To this. How much damage is this gonna do? Toss. Toss. Okay. I, I don't. I don't think it's that bad. Ooh. Need to slag him though. Need to get him slagged. Oh, I took. I took a dot. Found some more enemies. My AOE is really good. Looking okay. Shot. Let's get some more of that on him. Good. Let's cleanse our debuff. If the water stays, it does stay. That's tough. Stay on him. Nice. Okay. Hey, stop doing that. I'm gonna keep going with this one with with the the spider ants and stuff like that. The monsters. Don't let him hit me like that again. That was bad. All right, Pete. Chill out, brother. Maybe I should pull. I should probably get the heartbreaker, um, at least out and ready for when I want to heal. Because right now I need to heal up. I don't have anything to do it. Oh, there's nothing over here. No, no, no. This is it. This is the end. This is the end. This is the end. This is the end. Oh, come on. Dude, what, what a run ended. Dang. That's tough. Power P, a boss that just completely doesn't care about a single bit about fire. That's okay. I had fun with this one. Anyways, if you liked the video, enjoy. And then you had a good time listening, had a good time watching. Uh, throw a like. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.